It's been a mammoth discovered near Lake Powell, by which we mean an actual mammoth. Yeah, it's been quietly excavated at a secret location, and it could shed light on why the giant animals went extinct. Science and Nature Specialist John Hollenhorst has the story from... We can't actually tell you where he found this story. <laughs> Before David Rankin led us to his discovery, he made us promise to keep the location secret. The concern is that, you know, we, we don't want people going out there and collecting things to bring home uh, that could have some scientific value to them. When we hiked to it, we promised not to show horizons, cliffs, and other dead giveaway terrain features. Rankin's find is now protected in burlap and plaster. He's not a professional geologist, but he has an eye for science. So two years ago, when he spotted an ancient horse tooth sticking out of a slope, he realized it was from the Pleistocene era. There were horses in North America. There were camels living here. There were giant sloths. There were saber-toothed cats. And then he spotted another tooth, a mammoth tooth. The tooth was very eroded, so it took me a minute to figure out what I was looking at. But once it dawned on me, it was a very spectacular moment. I'll, I'll remember that for the rest of my life. This is very, very exciting. Paleontologist Randall Ermis says it's almost certainly similar to this skeleton at the Natural History Museum of Utah, a Colombian mammoth. So that's a relative of today's elephants, and it's closer related to the woolly mammoth, but probably wasn't nearly as furry. Volunteers quietly excavated the site last fall, a team led by Carrie Levitt Bouzion. This preservation was a lot very unique because it was kind of like shredded wheat in some parts, so it was very, very fragile. They didn't recover a complete skeleton like this one. They found mostly bits and pieces. Uh, and we have parts of uh, three tusks, which are kind of neat. It was kind of a funny story where I had one volunteer working on one side of the quarry and David working on the other side of the quarry. They were each working on a tusk part, and right before lunch they found that it connected, and it was a really, really big tusk. <laughs> It's not a big surprise to find mammoths in Utah. They've found a few of them before. But what really is amazing about this one is how old it is. This site is really significant because it gives us a snapshot much further into the past. The scientists are keeping their age estimates secret until they publish a peer-reviewed analysis. But Ermis says if mammoths thrived in an earlier, warmer, wetter era, it may shed light on one of the great scientific debates. What killed off the mammoths? climate change or humans. One of the things we're really interested in as paleontologists is how did ecosystems and animals change as the climate oscillated between cold and dry and hot and wet? For now, the plastered treasures are still in their secret location, awaiting a helicopter ride to the laboratory. Sometime this summer, hopefully. John Hollenhorst, KSL 5 News, somewhere near Lake Powell.